Dude, what the heck? Look at that. It's a big small mouth. It's trying to spit something up. Did you see that? What? It was trying to throw something up. You ready, Brent? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, bottom two buttons. Yeah, and it's a push stop, so yeah, you're good. I think I'm ready if, if you are. What are you feeling, buddy? I don't know what I'm feeling, actually. I, I want to go smallmouth, and the wind's blowing just a little bit. So I don't know. We're going we're gonna to head towards smallmouth water and then possibly chicken out if it's too bumpy out there because I need, I need fairly calm conditions. Um, we're just going to kind of play it by ear, and hopefully, hopefully we catch them. We're going to have to have a good day. We didn't have a great practice, so maybe today is the day that we find something. Some pretty good-sized rollers out here for it not being windy. It's actually dirtier out here than it was in practice, too. Dude, what the heck? Look at that. That's a big small mouth. It's trying to spit something up. Did you see that? Yeah. What? It was trying to throw something up. Oh, of course I catch this one. Dude, what the heck? It was at least a three and a half, four pounder. Maybe been a five, it was huge. I know that's a small mouth too, the way he's following me, dude. There's three or four of them right under my trolling motor right now. It might be a drum. If it's a small mouth, it's a big one. It's a drum. The walleye. <sighs> Tiny. Little small mouth. Walleye. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Spiky creatures. On scoreable. Little. Better one, maybe a keeper. If it's a bass, he doesn't feel huge. His head shakes small, but he kind of feels, I don't know, maybe a drum, maybe a small mouth. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a small mouth. He'll score. He's not big, but he'll score. Well, we're on the board. He's not very big, but we're on the board. Two pounds, six ounces. I'm going to have to get rid of him. Definitely getting windier. I'm not, not a little better. Two pounds, 10 ounces. I have to get rid of him too. Uh, we're going large mouth and I, I just, the time it's going to take me to get there, it'll be about the end of the period. The small mouth deal just didn't really pan out. I knew it was a risky thing, but as this wind kicks up, I'm, I just, it's just time to pull the plug, you know? I need that one. That's a big one. Yes, sir. There we go. That's a two and three quarters. Finally getting somewhere now. Three pounds, two ounces. About a three, two. Let's go, baby. Those are the kind we need. I mean, it's not a giant, but up here, three pounders make the world go round. That was a, that was a big bite for me mentally right there. That was important. I'm gonna celebrate by taking my bibs off. We in the wild, wild west. I think they would be just, if they are gonna be in here, just positioned on any, any of these little points and stuff like that. Big one. Uh, he's not as big as the last one, but he's a good one. Golly, he looks so much bigger than that when he come up and got it. Two pounds, six ounces. Yeah, I will take him. Uh, I had to switch it up to a swim jig, which I, I really hadn't thrown much at all this week. But the conditions have kind of forced, forced it. And I mean, dude, that fish annihilated it. Yeah, I am the moment. Yeah, I am the chosen. Hey, be a bass. Oh, oh. Not a big one, but he's a two pounder. Yo, cool. There's a four ounce call. We need one of those three to four pound bites and you know, we'll have a pretty good bag. And until we do that, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I got a lot on the line. He might get rid of that two, two. I think he's gonna. Two pounds, nine ounces. Another call. There's a few fish up here, the wind blowing in on this point. That one would've helped. Right there in that two and a half pound range, probably a couple ounces for me. Pike, pike, pike. Pike, pike. Golly. Gosh, man, that one got me for a second. Fancy, fancy meals for a fancy tournament. We've got a little charcuterie. I don't even know what this is. Genoa salami, natural white cheddar cheese and toasted rounds. These are not crackers, they're toasted rounds. I'm a little disappointed, you know, 
how this morning went, but we've kind of put it together a little bit this afternoon. We got one key three pound bite. Realistically, I'd love to get one or two more of those this next period because uh, those, those bites are just so hard to come by. But we've kind of salvaged our day. We've got a little over 13 pounds now. Even if we don't cull again, which I hope we cull everything we got, we'll at least be within striking distance of that knockout round. Come the next day on Friday, I won't even be thinking about the smallmouth. It's gonna be so windy. So I'll be able to just come in here, grind around for some largemouth, and hopefully make that knockout round. And then we can start thinking about the smallmouth again. Little. I don't think he's gonna help. No, he's not gonna help. I just can't get bit on anything but a chatterbait. I don't know why I keep putting it down. Probably because I throw a chatterbait through there first. There's a good one. Stay hooked. nice coal skinny fish for a northern strain but I, we will take it i was just saying i slow down and i flip and i do all the right stuff but i think with this wind they're just kind of sitting on these corners and i need to just i need to just cover water and fish high percentage stuff because it seems like every time i do fish high percentage stuff i catch a quality fish <laughs> 